What's up guys, Jester here, gonna be going over Sector 2, Mission 4, what's your email? Hacker, what I need of you to do is manipulate the script to send you my password. Since I am on my mobile phone and don't have access to a computer, I owe you one. What we're gonna need to do for this one is if you have Firefox, we're gonna go to Google and we're going to download something called Firebug. And what this is going to allow us to do is actually manipulate the source code on the page. And when we do that, we'll be able to change the email from our friend's email address to something we can access in order to retrieve the password. So go ahead and install it for Firefox. It'll ask you to restart and just go ahead and let it. If you do not want to install Firebug or have Internet Explorer or something, there's still hope. You don't have to convert over to Firefox. You'll just have to download or save this page and manipulate the source code on your own but that shouldn't be too much of a problem so we'll go into the page we'll open up firebug and we will look for this section of the code the forgot your password and the uh, iframe that's included so it's going to be in the body it's going to be in the wrapper and content this one central and here's our iframe and as you can see firebug will surround the code that you're looking at at that time so we'll go in here and view what else we can look at it's going to html this is going to be the include statement that we're getting it from and here is this section the forgot your password there is one thing that we do and need to change because if Wade hasn't gotten around to it quite yet is we're going to take away this exploitnation.org forward slash hacksme and we're just going to change that to hacksme.org um, so the finished thing should be www.hacksme.org forward slash includes forward slash n4 forward slash forgot.php and that's just going to, going to ensure that when we submit the forgot your password that it's going to send to it's going to actually send something as opposed to redirecting us to hey link no longer exists type thing so now that we have that fixed all we need to do is change the password from whatever it is set to to something we can access and that should give you the password guys good luck